Hello my friend, my name is Jose Cruz and welcome to Zuka Coder, the favorite coder of Ancobil. Today I'll talk about Azure Key Vault, the cloud service that we have in Azure that we can storage our certifications, keys and secrets. Let's see it with some details. What do you mean when you say keys? When you have one virtual machine and you need to cryptograph your, your disk, you need a key to do that and also to cryptograph your disk so we can storage that key in Azure Key Vault. We can also store our certifications of our web application in Azure Key Vault and then we can provide it through the REST API that we have here. And we have also the secret that the example that the example that I we use today, the secret could be a password, a user, or a connection string. Okay, so that's what the key concepts I would say that about Azure Key Vault. So today I will show an example about the secret. Okay, so first we need to create our Azure Key Vault service here. Select Azure Key Vault, click in create. Then we will create one new one, select the resource group, select this one, enter the name, I will say um, super seller um, a key vault is the name of my Azure Key Vault, my Key Vault service it will be that. Um, I will select the West US region and uh, days to retain the lead vault, I will leave it as a default. Okay. So yeah, let's review it great. As you can see, um, here is this my free tire. I have one account also in the Brazil, but I can't move it to Portugal. Then I had to create a new one. But, uh, it's not about uh, the price, it's about I'm um, using. I have the free tier for the first 30 days. If you don't have a Azure Key Vault, I'd like to invite you to create a new one to test the features that we have here. And then let's create and create. Click and create. So yeah, okay, we are deploying, the deployment is in progress and for a while I would like to invite you to subscribe the channel if you like the cloud content, those things, the content that uh, I'm showing here, the direct knowledge and the content that value your time, please subscribe and I think you will enjoy the video and the next tech videos. Let's wait a little bit more. It's faster, normally it's faster, I don't know why it takes time. Okay, let's go to the resource. So here we have our key vault, okay, the service that we create. We have our alias, some details here. But the principal thing that I want to show here is our secrets. Okay, we have keys, certificates, secrets, and access policies. We'll talk about that soon. Just, just keep it in your mind. Okay, here I have my application. Okay, I have one web application here, simple web application. I'm using my connection string here to connect to a database also in Azure. Okay, I have here my Azure Data Studio. I'm connected there, my database, and I'm searching for those values here. And then I'm using my web application to show this value. So just let me show you. I'm using this connection string here to provide it. So, okay, the same content that I have there, there I have here. Okay, nice, perfect. But I don't want to change, uh, store my Azure, my connection string here. Why? That is the key concepts of the Azure Key Vault. You have the Azure Key Vault to store our keys, secrets and certifications to handle it in an easy way. I will say that. What do you mean? For example, if you have a web application and a Azure function and other resources using the same database with when we need to update our password or another thing, we have to update in each one. So it takes time and it takes an effort. When we, have, we are using Azure Key Vault, we just need to generate a new version of the secret and the system will be updated because we will provide it to everyone. So that is the facility that we have using Azure Key Vault. We have also more control about our secrets there because we have logs and have monitoring and everything so we, we can see everything that's happening with our secrets and with the connections for example that we are using here as example. So that is the principal point of Azure Key Vault. So okay, let's remove it. My first, I will remove it here because I will use a Azure uh, Key Vault secret. So let's go and let's create our secret. Here in secrets, generate 
menu import and I will create my connection string. So I have my connection strings minus and then I have here my super seller. It will be the name of my connection string. And the value will be the connection with password and everything. You can create each one separately, but let's create to save some time. Velo. Okay, everything perfect. Nice. And they have some content type. We have here set activation date. It's for to define when it will be available and set expiration date. The name it means when it will expire. So okay, is everything okay? Everything perfect, connection strings, okay. Let's create it. Perfect, now we have the, the first secrets that we use. Then I can remove it here. I will not use this connection anymore. Let's remove it here. And as I remove it, it will not work, it won't work. So as you can see, I've got an error. I didn't handle it yet. But okay, so I need a connection string. How I will obtain this connection string through the secret? First, we need to add some packages through NuGet. So here, in the graph key of NuGet, in the graph key, we can also install it through the command line, but I prefer to show you here. First, you need to Azure Identity. Okay, it's the first package that we install. And then, let's install it. Nice, okay. We have also Azure um, Security, yeah, Secrets, this one. Here, Azure Security Key Vault Secrets that we are using Secrets, so let's start it. Same thing here. And then let's start the last one, Azure Extension Configuration Secret. Probably you have already saw another videos using this one. It's uh, the old packet that we have for it but it is deprecated, so it's, it, this package doesn't have support anymore. No, sorry, has support, but it's not, it's, uh, not long maintained. So it's the version of .NET Core 3.1, 3.1, and now the new version is this one. If you go here, you see the documentation directly you, um, saying that we have this new package here, so we use this one to not use the legacy things here in the project. So yeah, let's start it. Azure extension secrets, okay, install, perfect. Now we have the three packs that we use here, okay? So nice, let's close it here, let's go to programs. So then first I will add a new app configuration. Fast way here, let's go paste it here. I already have it here, save it to save some time. And okay, Jose, what is it? Here we have our address of our Azure Key Vault, tenant ID, client ID, and our client secret, okay? So we already have this Azure Key Vault here. So let's create those values here in our app settings JSON. So you can name it as you want. I set it Key Vault Config, but you can put your name, is there a configuration? We have Key, key Vault URL, tenant ID, okay, is everything perfect here? And we already have this URL, where? We can find it here in our super seller Azure Key Vault, um, Key Vault. So let's copy it here. Let's paste this adder in our configuration here. And perfect. Now we have to create this tenant client ID and client secret. But what, what it means? To access our secrets, we need to register our application. Okay, so this application, Azure don't know nothing about this application. So we need to create one register of this application that in Azure, then we can provide the permission. So let's create it right now. Go to apps registration, new registration, and put the name of your application, super seller ordering. I will leave it as the full and is everything okay. Yeah. Then I have this application created here. Perfect. Now I have my client ID. I will copy it, paste it here. And I have also my tenant ID. Copy it, paste it here. Okay, but we are missing the client secret ID. What is the client secret ID? It's the secret of the application. We can use certification or client secrets. I will choose the secret, it's probably never. Um, description will be my super seller ordering 
secret. I will add it here and then I will have my secret value. Remember that when you close, we leave this windows, this, this view, we won't see this again. We can't see this again because it will be um, a secret. So save this value here to not, to not create another one in the future. So you can see it only one time. Okay, I'll use it right now, hit my secret. Now I have it saved here. If I go to Azure and I go here, sorry. If I go here in the certifications, let me see overview, certification secrets. Yeah, still here. Oh, maybe I need to leave the registrations. I have my rep registrations here. Our applications. Okay, this one. I think, okay, maybe when I leave the panel, you can't see this value anymore, okay? It will be completely different. So let's go to Azure Key Vault, it here, and I have everything, okay, perfect. I have my Azure Key Vault, I have my secret, and I have everything configured. So, okay, then it will work, right? Because I have my things here. Our Azure know my application. Oh yeah, perfect, I need to add this here. But first, Azure already know my application. Azure knows that I have the secret and everything, so it will work. No, I need to give permission on Azure Key Vault to my application register see my secrets in the Azure Key Vault. Okay, we will do it right now. But first, let's add the reference of our Azure identity, Azure Key Vault secrets, and the extension. What it what it does? It means that the old version that you, we had, uh, we could use these values, these string values inside of our config Azure application key vault. But then now in the new version, we need to create a new credential, then pass this credential here in the client. And then after that, we add the client inside of this Azure key vault configuration. Okay, we have a little bit of change here. So yeah, it's everything work but it will not run because we need to give permission. So let me show you. It will throw one forbidden error here. It's a forbidden because I don't have permission to see my secrets there in the cloud. So let's go here. As I mentioned, let's go to access policies. Okay. Then my user can see the secrets, but I need to add my application. So let's create a secret management. I will leave only get and list permissions and I will set my supercell application, this one. So this application, this register will see only get and list secrets, okay, of this specific key vault. So select, add, and don't forget to click in save, okay. It's updating. Perfect, perfect, okay. Is everything okay and it will work now? Let's just test this app registration now. Certification token. Oh, as I mentioned before, is everything now with some encrypted values? So, yeah, we can't see it anymore, but we have it saved here in our client secret ID in our configuration. So, don't forget to save it, okay? Do not create a new one and update your application, you lose your objective of this service. So, okay, Azure Key Vault created. We have our Key Vault here. Is everything are working perfectly? Let's test our application to get the data from the database again. Nice, perfect. <laughs> now we don't have the connection string anymore here in my configurations I have the application client ID and tenant in the secret we can also store it in the environment variables but that is the point my client ID shouldn't change okay my secret too it shouldn't change but in my connection string I have um, some things that we need to change with sometimes for example the password maybe you have some company policies that we you have to change your database password during some time so you have more frankly frequency to update your applications so that's the best way to keep the your 
keys, secrets and certifications centralized in a only one thing. And now you can also see here, see some details, logs and those things. It's an easy way to handle our security part. So yeah, it's basically that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you like it. And I see you in the next video. Thank you.